it was started uh, 2007 and I, I, I really, my, 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 I, my conscience is uh, telling me that uh, you should uh, have a change in, in, in Maguindanao. Province, which has a total land area of 554,700 hectares and a total population of 990,710 as of 2010 census, is the best area in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao or ARMM for investors to put up feasible agricultural and industrial ventures. Magindanao has ready airport seaport and terminals including communication facilities and banks. The province is capable of providing skilled workforce for every business's labor requirements. Magindanao has existing plantations of Cavendish banana, oil palm, rubber and coffee, plus a huge hectare of coconut, orchard, corn, rice, cacao, vegetables, and livestock for halal production. The province is also typhoon-free and has a potential area of 35,000 hectares for oil palm plantations, 25,000 hectares for rubber plantations, 25,000 hectares for coffee in strategic areas in Maguindanao. Maguindanao has 36 towns with two congressional districts. It has 5,770 hectares of Buluan Lake, 288,000 hectares of Ligawasan Marsh, of which 172,800 hectares, or 60%, belongs to the province. This is the largest in the Philippines and the landmark of the region that supplies marine and agricultural products to neighboring provinces and the whole of central Mindanao. It is also a potential area for modern fish culture, fish vacuum packaging, ecotourism, and peat soil, excellent for organic fertilizer. Aside from agricultural potentials, Maguindanao has ecotourism potentials as well. It has waterfalls, viable for renewable energy, hot and cold springs, beaches, golf course, the longest zip line, and historical landmarks, one of which is in Sultan Kudarat Municipality for Sharif Muhammad Kabuswan, a native of Johor, where he preached Islam. The dividends of the Mindanao peace process are now being felt everywhere in the province. As a result of peace efforts, 70% of the investors in ARMM is doing business in Maguindanao. We established the first large-scale banana plantation in Maguindanao in 1997. Uh, we are very proud of our operations there. In fact, uh, I, bri I brag about the fact that during the last 18 years, we haven't lost a single day of interruption, either due to labor or peace and order concerns. Maguindanao is endowed uh, with a lot of fertile soils and a favorable agroclimatic environment. Uh, we get a lot of support uh, from the provincial and local officials in Maguindanao therefore making the environment propitious for our investments. Ali Cleaver Development and Export Corporation, also known as Ardexport, is a banana plantation in 
Barangay Ali, Dato Paglas, Magindanao. Our main reason why we established uh, the farm here in Magindanao is because it has a vast fertile land, uh, good weather condition, and uh, abundant source of water, which is a vital, vital for an agricultural business. And the local government here is very supportive and friendly to investors. Agrovil Philippines Incorporated is a company producing good palm oil and palm kernel. The first palm oil deal was created in 2007 in central Mindanao, which was situated in Buluan, province of Mindanao. The company is gearing for expansion for about 2,000 hectares per year in the province of Mindanao. This expansion, looking at all the advantages of doing this in Maguindanao, the healthy use commitment with the company is totally very, very good. The weather condition in this region is very, very suitable for all palm plantation. This is a storm free region. Maguindanao is extending incentives to investors in income tax holiday for six years. Pilinanas Development Corporation, located in Pukanaluko, Dato Abdullah Saki, Magindanao. We start planting November of 2012. Our product and volume of this company is we are targeting 1.6 million boxes per year. Our shipment goes to Japan, Korea, and Middle East market. Expansion, we are moving for the expansion. Our advantage, the advantage of coming of the company in this area is to give new life to the people, new job to the people, and sustain a more sustainable job for the people. We are inviting you to invest your money in this province, Makindanao. This is a peaceful province, alhamdulillah, inshallah. Salamat ako sa Arctic Court at saka sa Philippine Government. Anong sa Emilay? Dahil, dahil dito sa kumpanya na ito, dalawa na sa mga anak ko ang kapagtapos ko. I personally, with the security sector being the commander of 6ID, ensure the safety of the investments and the investors here in Maguindanao. Welcome po kayo sa Maguindanao. We are securing all the visitors and tourists of uh, Maguindanao province. Best assured that the uh, Maguindanao police uh, will always here to support the investment because we want a safer Maguindanao to live, work, travel, and do business. Maguindanao is home to peace-loving tribe people. The model, Christians and Lumites that are peacefully coexisting. Magindanao is our star performer. Uh, Magindanao is the number one in terms of investments coming into the ARMM. The proof of this is this year we've had 10 investments coming into the, the region uh, and registering with the Regional Board of Investments and uh, practically all of them are in Maguindana. So that shows to you that the, the one province that has attracted the most number of investments is Maguindanao. We in the Regional Board of Investments will assist you in locating the easiest uh, or, or have the best accessibility when it comes to investment. Peace and development is indispensable in Maguindanao province. Welcome investors. Maguindanao province is a better choice to locate your investments. As a matter of fact, we hold 71% of the total investment in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. We have ready vast agricultural lands, skilled young workers, and supportive local government executives. Now,